Nehemiah, chapter number 22. Beginning verse number one, if you will. Thus said the Lord, go down to the house of the king of Judah, mm -hmm. and speak there this word, and say, hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, yes. that sitteth upon the throne of David, thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, execute ye judgment and righteousness, My God. and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor, My God. and do no wrong, mm -hmm. do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, give me that third verse again, I believe I want. Thus said the Lord, mm -hmm. execute ye judgment and righteousness, yeah. and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor, All right. and do no wrong. All right, that's what we're going to talk about, do no wrong. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What degree? Of wrong are you? What are you to? Well, anyway, um, the word of God and God Himself does not allow for any degree of wrong. Amen. You would think that a questionable. You better come on the right side. Hello. And it's too much to uh, to hamper over or to sling words over. Have you right? I read it before, and um, it was quite uh, even impressive here. I'm just waiting here. This is a problem. But now, in view of this, how can the uh, false religions of our day just overlook this and uh, just take it as another verse and you have an option you know what I mean just so you don't be too extreme you pray you pray to God uh, this is his way you'll be a poor tonight until today brother if you know those whose heart was such maybe even in your midst and uh, what would be the finding of the Holy Ghost? In fact, uh, this is how serious it is. Tell this uh, to uh, number six, I want. Sixteen, number one, Proverbs. Come on. Take that. Now absorb this. You know, we don't say no, we don't necessarily. But please absorb this. So your best is in eternal interest. Proverbs 16, 1. Yes. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue yes. is from the Lord. From the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Oh, wait, my, hold, 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 hold. Listen. Now, the reason why God had to be so particular is because self assessment has called many people to lose their soul. What did it say? Read it again. All the ways of a man. Are clean in his own eyes. In his own eyes. But the Lord wears the spirit. Alright. The Lord does what? The Lord wears the spirit. The Lord wears the spirit. Many times, uh, we might kind of caution an enemy to say, hey, brother, you got out of spirit. No, 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 definitely not. I was just a little upset. In whatever case, you know. I was just being a little more emphatic than you know. You follow me? Well, honey, listen. I, you, you need it to be uh, able to deal with. So I make you aware uh, that uh, I have to do the pressure here. Well, you don't have to do it like that. Please, before I go to it. All right. What did he say? Let's see how much of God is to, to determine uh, whether or not you're right or wrong. Come on. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Yes. But the Lord wears the spirits. 
Yeah. Now this is a serious thing. Now we should take that. That includes all of us. I don't know who you are, but now if that is a situation and it's look questionable and something consequential, you're gonna come out uh, on your own assessment on top of it. Why? My brother, my son, talking to an individual who had looked at our services on the uh, internet, and about five different ministers. And I group, the group said, and they had that group for the case might be. And they said, I didn't do the Church of God in Jackson. And he was fairly impressed. So he said that uh, uh, they, he named the issues you thought the sake of God that divided him. Some to me didn't seem to be insignificant to so be uh, you know, But anyway, uh, they were doing it in a way. And they did not fellowship one another because of it. Here the situation seems to God. The situation. Uh, they have a legitimate right to separate from that which is not right. Amen. You follow me? Amen. In fact, it's an idiot. You understand? But in this case, uh, I didn't have time to analyze it altogether. Something that you probably agree with, you know, and all that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, they separated because, they, in my eyes, I'm, I'm all right. I see nothing wrong with this. I see nothing wrong with this. And of course, and they kept going with it, and then they just wouldn't want to go board with it. Get the moon out of your own eyes. That's what they tell you. Come on, come with it. See. That's a tough situation. And then now, but now, after they do that, and they go back where they were, and they'll start back sitting right in their own eyes again. Wait a minute. We, we got to do this thing, God. You're pretty with uh, Give me Philippians 2 9. Philippians 2 9. All right? Philippians. Chapter 2, I believe, verse number 9. Wherefore, yeah. God also hath highly exalted him, yeah. and given him a name which is above every name. I'll give you an undivided attention right here. Go on, go on, please. That at the name of Jesus, yeah. every knee shall bow. Yeah. Of things in heaven, things in heaven, and things in earth, and things in earth, and things under the earth, under the earth, and that every tongue should confess yeah. that Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. to the glory of God the Father. Yes. Yeah. Wherefore, my beloved, yeah. as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, All right. but now much more in my absence, oh my work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it here. And let me tell you something, thank God. That makes us inexcusable for ending up finally wrong. Why? Because, by the way, it's so serious that you can't be wrong about this. Because it has eternal consequences. Lord help us, my Lord. And if you're wrong by this, you're wrong for eternity. Oh, yeah. don't, don't, don't play no game with your soul if you haven't gone oh, before already. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Okay. So here we are, here we are. Now, well, I wish I had to come to church right here. Well, here now, so you're ready. <laughs> so you're way too late. You're going to come to church today. So wait, listen to that verse again. Work with my beloved, yes. as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, yes. but now much more in my absence. All right. Now, work out your own salvation. Right. He's talking about uh, being obedient and uh, how that, how meticulous you have to be with it was your soul here. Yeah. And we'll do what now? Work out your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. You know, uh, <laughs> in school years ago, and I guess about the fourth or fifth grade, when we began to uh, do divisions and long division, all this kind of stuff. Well, you know, I could do pretty good with math, with, uh, uh, with the, uh, the, the, the <laughs> with, 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 with the crosses. <coughs> not, not, yeah, multiplication. I, I could do pretty good with that. And, uh, but then I would do this, and I could get the first numbers. And, uh, but then now that, that's a, that's a, uh, I'm left over. 
Yeah, me and them would not hear the situation. But now, uh, I would, uh, <laughs> but I didn't know what to do with it. And so I said, well, that don't make a difference. I got the big number. I got the main number. And so, and, and, it went, and so I went on with it. But I did not work the problem. Sometimes we have situations here that are very consequential and bothersome. And they're troubling it. You're so day and night. You get the big issue. I, I, I call it by that. I've confessed that. We're not. Come on, come on, my Help God. Many people walk up in the judgment with, with, amen, with, uh, amen, with unsolved situations. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But the Bible says there that you can do it. See, amen. So what got, what got your own salvation? You don't have to be an uh, uh, engineer. Calculus and all that kind of thing. You don't have to always know all that. Why? But now, you've got a coach. Listen, don't you know if there's a situation existing in your life and uh, you're not able to solve it? Listen, I can tell you this. I can tell you this. You can tell me anything you want to tell me. You have struggled with it and have not reached a satisfactory conclusion. And now, you just, well, that's the best. I, I did the best I could. I prayed about it. But now you got to work it out. Yes. I just put, put some uh, figures up on the wall here, prayed out of God, and, and put some uh, maybe numbers over it, and all this kind of thing. you got to work it out. My Lord. Amen. Work out every detail. That's why engineers are so uh, popular, even, even whatever. You know why? Because see, they work with those fine uh, objects here. With that little, uh, we're not, and uh, we put, we go, I hold it, one hundredth of an inch. Oh, God. You can't be wrong about it. They deal with, 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 uh, with, with nations. And they, and they have plenty with, with uh, hundreds of people. And they can't be wrong because if it's, if it's not just right, in a certain atmosphere, there we go. You follow me? Lord, uh, I have a situation here, and I'm not sure. I I feel decent, but I'm not sure deep, brother. about this. The deep brother, Lord help. Amen. And I, I I'm only in involved myself. You know, just just for a, a small degree. But there's still something that's troubling me about it. And you've done that for I don't know how long. Over and over again. You know, you know, what about that situation? When I prayed about it, uh -oh. you, you got to see, you just got to see. You think because you prayed about it, you got to, you got to come out right. You prayed because you didn't know. You stopped praying, you still didn't know. My God. Go on deep, but go on out. Oh, yes, my God. Go but now the Bible said what? It said, work out. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Wherefore, my brother, beloved, if ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with so, fear and trembling. Dear, well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, many of I am for a good mathematics here. And uh, we had a problem with uh, a big pipe, eight inches on the outside. And uh, two is thick. Well, how with how much is from the inside? Well, you just take like two inches off the of it. No, definitely not. And so, and we never could get that thing right. And what did I do? Well, by my business, this let go and toss out <laughs> until this moment. That, that's only about seven years. <laughs> but anyway, here's the situation. Many people got situated that been have what? Have tough. In their soul, and I've carried around from years and months. My God is still, Amen. And and the what to do? Well, they're their own coach, Amen. They do their own, Amen. Uh, examination of the papers, and what they do, 
Well, I'm a good egg. That's what you think. I'm doing myself. Come on, come on. And, and, and many times the Holy Ghost kind of pricks you and shows you about that thing that you never did the right altogether. You, Amen, you worked out a great point of it and you felt so uh, good about that that you uh, thought that all would suffice. I've done this, I've done that. So what, what else? What else? And God is blessing me. <laughs> well, he blessed, he blessed, he blessed, he blessed right in, amen. He was right in the wrong. When the, they, they all get no flakes. All of them get sunshine. My Lord, you know, you know, you know, they have no Holy Ghost preaching, they may get sunshine. And there's no ball. Pretty love of God, you understand? So now, and many people are just so naive. They think that because God is blessing, still blessing me, I couldn't be right. I couldn't be having all this money in my pocket, whoever. Amen. If I was not right. Uh, you know, you better check your pocket. You might have a hole in it. You might not have it. <laughs> Praise God, I'm telling you. You might not have it. But now, as serious as this, and our souls involved, the black people, day and night, we would be going with our lives. You know, I've told you many times about the old six year old sister who, uh, she, when they, they preached about this, how about every word, that's every other word you speak, you've got to give an account of it in the judgment. Because they, and they're right and they're wrong. You know, gossip, amen, out there, in, amen. Encouraging and whatever the case might be. So here we are. All right, now. All right. Sure. That sister went and bought her one of those spiral back books and said, Wait well, all day long. Well, she wouldn't speak much because she knew she had to give an account of it. And, and she had really issues with her. And so, uh, she would go at night time. And, uh, and I get to her little spiral back book. My Lord. Let's see. My Lord. Let's see. Um, so, uh, wait a minute. This was not. Amen. 
and I was trying to interpret this and interpret that. And I still don't feel just right. I made some kind of confession a uh, time or two, but I'm not sure that I was, amen, uh, as good for that I should go. When I got to the people, they knew, they knew it, that I wasn't different than the work when I started. I just uh, learned a different of it, so, so because I'm pretty good with words, you know, and I, and I can explain in a real way, and, you know, and I can out, amen, reason most people, and I can, you know, and I'm pretty diplomatic, so I can, you know, I can use it from it, you know what I mean? And, and you and don't feel bad about it. But I hope we're wrong in it. My God. I hope that when you get, I hope when you get through with it, the, the, the wrong has been eliminated. I'm telling you the truth, for the love of God, you can do this all you please. And then, and then too, and you know what? And your, the peace in your soul will not be complete. Mm. You, I don't care, you can, for the love of God, you, you can run around the snoop, or around, around the snoop on, wherever you know. If you get some ice cream and everything else, you be wish you never be happy. You never be happy. For the love of God, there's, there's a tremendous thing there. You listen, you listen to me. All right. Whatever. You know, I know people who were in there who walked down for years. One old brother for who been to church of God for a while. And uh but they talked about it and I saw him and uh, about uh, about thirty-five years. And that was about fifty, sixty years ago. So that means so but anyway, uh he uh I found this old fellow's little uh, wallet, which contained a few coins, not much money, no. And so, finally, he said, I, uh, I, uh, I found your wallet some years ago. And uh, it has such and such amount in it. And I'm going to give it back to you. And he, of course, he thought, well, of it, you know. But all those years he had gone around with that man money in his pocket Hello. and, and bought cigarettes and everything else with it. And whatever else. And in fact, I think I saw that same old man coming down out of the back stair of a, of a motel with that woman. Because he had a bobby shot right across it. That don't look like such a mirror. Anyway. I'm going to tell you one. You're going to find the judgment a whole lot different than you think it is. So you better try to get it right. You better, you better try to get it right. You better try to get it right. I don't care who you are. And don't think you're so spiritual that you're going to make it out. I don't care whatever you find. Boy, you, you, find, you find all through the Bible that those who are trying to vindicate themselves. Lord, I didn't do this. Lord, I did this. Lord, I did this. I faith I gave you. You can do all the accolades you too of yourself. People live on that case, so many of them do. You follow me? So, so here we are, thank you, Lord. I would let me do it myself. But, um, I don't think that's wrong with you, but you think, let me check myself. Amen. Let me check myself, thank God. I, you, you're not going to be my judge. You're not going to be my final judge. I'm just going to say, but, um, you preach some good sermon. I know, but um, you got to do preach one of the good sermons to go to heaven. Now that's the truth of God, help us. Amen. You know, we've got your whole salvation. Let, let's try uh, Lamentation chapter 3, 5, 9. Uh, 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 chapter 3, 5, 9, Lamentation. You've probably got Lamentation in it. <laughs> All right, let's try it. 3, 5, verse 59, I believe it is. You got it there. All right. Listen to what it said. He has built me again. Oh, Why is it close now? Listen to it, Saint God. Don't know this is Pass you by. Come on with it. He has built me again. All right. He has built me. He has built against me. All right. And compassed me with gall and travail. Yes. You got it? Okay. Time to get time. You all right? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thou hast seen my wrong. You've seen my wrong, Lord. 
Judge thou my call. Not just oh. I'm being very technical. You see, you do it. Right. You, you, right. Saw, you, saw, you, saw, you saw when I was intending to do it. Right. You saw it. You saw it before I do it. Thank you, Lord. You saw I was looking for you. I said, you saw when I was looking through the, the, the magnifying part of my glasses. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Thank you. My Lord. No, you saw you saw it before that 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 uh, that it was formulated in my, my my heart. First in my mind, but it went after a while. I didn't deal with it, so it went into my heart and became a part of me. My God, help us, Lord. <laughs> Do you know deal with what happened? Um, you mess around and don't deal with the thing when you should. It become a part of you. My God, right, my God, help Lord. Looking heavy gospel, brother. Um, I. In fact, I was preaching in, 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 in uh, California, and I took such a million of those. Uh, My Lord. Yeah. Uh, father, he was, uh, knew me from a child. A little boy about back for maybe three or four years old. And uh, he told me, but I wanted him to go with me to the revival that I was running. He went with me. And so uh, he got, he got saved. My Lord. And so we took him to Pasadena, the home that's where we live in. And I said, and so he asked him, uh, the Copenhagen, the, uh, what's it called? Tobacco. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and anyway, anyways, <laughs> did you give me yours? Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I said, check. I said, you, 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 can't, you can't do that. And get away. He said, you bug, uh, they call me a guy little boy. You bug. Uh, he said, uh, that has become a part of me. My Lord. That's why people can't kick it until they happen to you this morning. I'm not talking about uh, no, no, no cocaine and all that kind of stuff. What? Well, whatever you did. Get mad. Somebody went to the church in the floor, get out in the floor, kick it, put it out of God, and, and throw stuff on the other little brother, sister, and all that kind of mess. And you, and you, you can't stop them, my God. Not a while. They're going, to, they're going to take nothing nobody else. It might be one of those three that was God. Say, hey man, you went off on me the other day. Bam! Wow. It's part of it, he can't stop it. He can't control himself now. Lord help. I'm going to take it for you. I'm going to play no games here now. And then you try to justify yourself. Well, Lord, you can do this to me. If you did that to me, I wouldn't bother him at all. Well, <laughs> you respond for yourself in your spirit. Yes, amen. Love of God. What did he say? We don't want more time. Let me see. There's something I missed about that. Come on. Oh Lord. Yes. Thou hast seen my wrong. Yes. Judge thou my cause. Lord, Lord, you, you've seen it. I'm afraid I may miss something. I might favor myself here. Yes. I might favor Lord, myself. Lord, you, you, you know, you said that. You're not going to overlook it. You, 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 you're going to give me what's just the love of God. And what? Judge thou my cause. Yes. Lord, Lord, oh Lord. Now, I will see my wrong. I probably will skip over it, praise our God, and keep on jumping. You understand me? Praise our God. You know all that. You know what I was thinking. You know my motive. You know all the details. Come on. And what do you say? Oh Come Lord, no, yes. thou hast seen my wrong. Lord, you've seen it, praise our God. So let me try to uh, just talk it away, explain it away. Why? No, you, why? I don't care what I say. You say you've seen it. And that's sufficient. And that's sufficient for the love of God. Amen, amen. My God have mercy. And if that's what David says, Lord, you search me. You know my downsetting up right, you know my thoughts are further up. You know before I think it, you know it. And, I, amen. and the very fact that it's in you, <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it. Amen. You got, you got to do it. You got to give an account of it. All you got to give an account of it. Lord is talking to the love of God, amen, in your prayer. Amen. Listen, amen. You love me? I'm in your private prayer. I'm in your private What? Why you call cause what? You, you try to justify yourself. And now you got some philosophers who can't do it. I'm going to tell you, pray love God. All right. Let's move a little further. Now, I looked up the definition uh, for wrong. You know what I mean? It said, uh, what? Uh, Unrighteous, anything, any degree, any degree of unrighteousness. Oh God! What? Oh Lord, 
thank God it was your one. Uh, when you stand before God, I tell you this dude, give me Corinthians chapter, I think on 2 Corinthians chapter 5, give me verse 7. For we walk by faith. Walk by faith. Not by sight. Not by sight. We are confident, I say. Go on. And willing rather to be absent from the body. Yes. And to be present with the Lord. Come on with Wherefore we labor. We labor. That whether present or absent. Whether present or absent. We may be accepted of him. Yes. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Christ. That everyone may receive the things. My Lord. Uh, I have missed it. Five months ago, but it might have been a two stone for me at the time. I don't know. I'm yeah. serious about it because I analyze this thing. You know, I just read some I read the Bible, I read the scripture, I read this word, I read the word. You know, and this, I have to wait a minute. Let me see what I'm doing here. All right. Uh, I don't you know here. Read that again. Read that again, please, and, and analyze it with me. For we walk by faith, walk by faith, not by sight, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body, absent from the body, to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Wherefore we labor, yeah. that whether present or absent, yeah. we may be accepted of Him. Yeah. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Don't you know that's accurate? That's right in detail. We all got to stand before God, and here we are. And don't you know when God finished, amen, that inquiry of your conduct in detail, he's going to either, that's what he's going to be, he's going to either, either say, enter my blessing into the what? Of God. Uh, depart from me. Don't you be like me? Will you, uh, will you try to uh, interpret this? He said, depart, depart from me. Don't you know you're done for eternity and ain't nothing nobody can do about it? I wouldn't wait for it here. Uh, you don't find many instances in the Bible where people have been judged before. Who oh, we're not thinking of you. Uh, when it says, there's nothing to bomb in Gilead. We 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 lost it, and I know, amen. I know, no, no, amen. Nobody there can help us out. If God said it, now He said it. That's it. Amen. I know you. Million years now, thank God. According to the way you all teach it, and I said, I swear, I accept it. Depart from your curses. You ignore the messages. Your pride will not let you down. Humble yourself. Amen. And you kept self justification. And then nothing you do about it. You had to word to preach to you in detail. In detail. See, this is uh, You can change the diet anytime you get ready. Oh, brother, so he's such a, oh, he's such a, he's such a, uh, a grand saint. Now, the Lord, I wait. Let me let me get situated here. And I'm not sure I'm all getting situated now. Look, listen. I said, um, if uh, indeed, uh, I missed it. There's no appeal. First, mm. my son was in uh, jail, and uh. It was a pretty good discipline. But I always had a glimmer of hope that we get him out of night without going all this ridiculous things. And we pray or not. And everything else. My wife would shuffle all through the night. But that didn't help. That didn't help. That didn't help. Until one day we, uh, we had a friend who was a, who was a uh, 
positivism. Sir. What was it? What was it? The eighth senator. The eighth senator. The eighth senator. In Africa. Said he said he bitches the many times. In fact, he became the Lord of the time. And so, uh, and my precious wife, before, before she died, he said, uh, what's your name? What's your last name? Mark Shower. Mark Shower said, this is Mr. Shower. They wish you in a wheelchair, she said, on Tuesday. Uh, and you send my boy home. He said, ma'am, I'll do my best. And in about a week's time, the letters start coming down with that, that, that new committees. And all this from this committee, that committee. And after a while, the big man, way up north, came down and invited the champion and the, the family down. And after a while, uh, we were all there, asked us questions, asked him questions, what not, you know. And uh, we had, get, we did, had been denied so much time. I didn't know how to prove she'd feel good or bad, and it just, because this is it. Well, all the Supreme Court and everybody else it, said nothing. And so we got to the talk, you know. And, you know when I was that kind of guy, you know, you would say, tell the truth about everything, tell the truth. Tell the truth. And he went in and he did. And now, so, the fellow, uh, the big guy, was there. And he uh, said, uh, All right. I said, Sir, he didn't have to be played on the board, the board, on the court, and court, and all that, you know what I mean? And you know, put the young fellows. And uh, so, that's about the extent of, you know, what he played in. In school there, you know, I said, in fact, that was a thing. And I said, uh, you know, I said, when uh, Magic Johnson was writing in the sport magazine, the greatest the great game that he had, I said, Frank held him that night. What, Mr. Newman? Anyway, they thought all some of us already, now. you know, that's why. And so, uh, the, the, the big, big, big guy said, I'm going to tell you, I like it first. Malo. <laughs> Malo. You know what I'm you. But the prodigal son is coming home. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, what delight. You know what I mean? You follow me? Well, I'm between coming home to go to hell. Malo. Don't mess with him. Don't, don't, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. No pill, brother. No pill. Help us, God said, that you, you, you're done. Malo. It's all over. I declare to you. I don't care. You, you pray all you pray all you please. Malo. But you don't have to do that. Yes. You don't have to do that, thank God. Amen. When he did it for you, he said, uh, uh, you see, he said that. Yeah. And, he, and you know what? And he's going to show you. Lord, I mean, yes, you would, because, amen, you just got through doing it, but you said you wouldn't do it. My God, and you've been doing it in your mind all the time. You never got out of your mind. You never got out of your mind. There was, amen. There was, there was a weak spot there that, that on, never was. That never was. Come on, amen. brother. Lord, help this morning, my God. Never worry, brother. What a word. And then, too, I don't have time to do that today. My Lord. But uh, I've had a lot of time to think and analyze. I said, Lord, now, all of those people in the Bible, many of them, and all those that I've known down through the years, and, uh, Somehow, and, and they seem to be unbreakable, untouchable. But they're gone after what happened. And Lord showed me the process. I don't have, I'm not messing with it right now because it's, it's too complex, you know. And, but I'm having to get it over to you because otherwise there may be no thing that happened. Anyway, so, uh, Peter, Peter, Lord help. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should today. Maybe I should today. And so, so anyway, so here we are. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, you want to say, uh, here's the situation. I tell you, come on, come on, come on, touch it. He said, this, uh, all right. So, now, then you come at a time when there's a kind of a, a weakness that you ignore because you had, uh, yeah, yeah, we, uh, 
Lord so many times, so many times he said no to it. And it didn't bother me. Uh, but now he said, but now there's come a time that you will be so anxious and so desirous to get involved in this situation uh, that you will say, Lord, well, I want to do it anyway, so I may as well do it. And I went, what, what, what about it? Well, I just have to try to get straight again. That's got to you got to deal with. You can't do no mess like that. I'm going to do something crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I, I feel so bad. I mean, just ain't got to give it. You can't pray for the Holy Ghost. You can't pray for the Holy Ghost. And then, too, if the, at the best you were, you couldn't do it. How you going to do it to get better? All right, now. All right. All right. All right. There's a tremendous thing we did with here. Praise our God. Oh, God. A lot of people did not intend it. Amen. But they could not control those, amen, those wild desires. And the only option they had, amen, to maintain that sanity was to just go on and do it and hope for the best. Hope that maybe later on I can talk my way out of it. Heavy gospel, the Lord help us, Lord. Have your way, Lord. And then, too, I said, well, let me say, what, what hope do you What hope do you leave yourself? Well, ah, uh, I'm never going to I'm going to ask God to forgive me, and I'm not going to do no more, and all that. Oh, you got to fix that, huh? You fix it some other times. Praise the Lord God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here we are, you guys. This is a situation. This is a situation now. I will be here. I will not. If that be the case, see, I ain't got time to go into it because it's too complex. If that be the case, Lord, and now all that praying I've been doing here, and, and getting my mind situated and to get the scriptures uh, uh, made up and everything else. I wasn't, well, what, what do I do? What hope do I have? Okay, then. What hope do you have? You, I give you a victory and a grace. And it has carried you all these years. Keep the same one. Do the same thing. Do the same thing over and over. Pray that with God. Amen. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Say forgive me. No, you don't mess like that. You don't play no games, Lord. Go. Preaching holy, brother. Lord help me. Go straight out of God. Okay. Show me. 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 God deals with them drastically. And so uh, he said, okay, he said, okay, let me, what about this now? I said, uh, and I said, well, and he said, well, you can do this, that, and the other, amen. And, uh, and, and God, 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 God forgive you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And uh, God said, okay, then, you listen to me. I'm going to conclude it. He said, all right, he said, if you, The victory that I gave you in your soul, you had, you had it, you, you had it. Come on. If you can't, if you can't do what, what that word gave me now, right now, nothing that I can give you. Mm. Right, God. I, nothing I can give you, baby, once you got it now. My Lord. I, have Bless you. Well, I, I gave you grace. My Lord. Lord. I gave you strength. Lord. What else is it? My God. What my Lord. else is it? Praise that my God. Amen. What else is it? If you can't take that, then nothing going to happen. You've you exhausted my resources. Right, Please the living God for the whole world. But uh, I'm going to tell you something. But now, this man is still trying to play with me to, to with my mind on that man. And show me this. Or oh, you need to be so philosophical. Or oh, should you need to be that? You know, all that kind of stuff. And you know, if you can fix you up, you know, you fix me up nothing. You feel me? You feel me up in hell? Yeah. Definitely not. In this situation. Now, sir, if you want to help, do no wrong. Thank you. If there's a wrong, Thank you. that need to be right. Thank you. I mean, when, no wrong. Thank you. See, you didn't do a whole truckload of wrong. Yes, sir. Any, any wrong at all? I had a little spoon for it. Amen. Thank you. Here we are, sir. All right. Thank you. Now, if you need help today, thank you. God got that help for you. What grace?
God got it here for you. He got it. Yes. God got it. Yes. Thank you. And don't feel me afraid of God. You don't pray him cheap. Yeah. Because what? He got all the goals. He got all the grace. Yes. He got all the grace. Yes. Oh Lord, I just couldn't stand at the time. Why? Why? Oh Lord, uh, I didn't, I didn't have to. I'm reading right now. You're reading right now. I got all of it. My Lord. You got to do come and get, get another truck load. Give us more grace. All you got to do is give us another truck load. Praise our God. And we're going by yourself. Thank you, Lord. And leave us behind. Thank you, Lord. Praise our God. Show us that. Thank you, Lord. If you don't play no game for your soul, yeah. if God talking to you, it's up to you and God. God. It's up to you and God. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. It's up to you and God. Thank you. What are you going to say? Prepare to meet by God. Page 459. All right, then. In this case. Amen. And if you, if even, if the door is still, if the door is still open in your bed, you feel you're blessed, you're blessed in this world. You're blessed even if you've got any kind of urge to do that. If you got any kind of action, amen, to seek God, but it gets yourself clear, you may come. You may come.
face the judgment. You can miss a lot of things in this life. Amen. You can have so many disappointments. And, amen. Misengagements and blow off all sorts of things in this life. But there's an appointment you're not missing. You're going to stand face to face before God. You're going to give an account. Every idle word. That questionable thing that you justified. That thing you went over. And you thought you forgot about it. It'll all be too clear in the judgment. It'll be clear in the judgment. If God has even remotely awakened you this morning to your need, you're blessed. I go. Conviction, oh, it's, it's, it's an ironic thing. When it's there and weighing upon you, you, you want it to go away. But when it leaves, you desperately want it back. Don't walk out of here unclear this morning. You're playing with your soul. You're playing with your soul. Do no wrong. Do no wrong. That's the standard by which we'll be measured in the judgment. Did we do right or did we do wrong? You can explain it away now and talk it away and justify it, but on the day of judgment, it's either going to be right or it's going to be wrong. And God determines it, not you. You can justify anything in your life. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. You can justify anything. But on the day of judgment, it's going to be different. God determines it. And God's determining this morning. We're going to sing one more verse. We're going to sing one more verse. If you feel prompted, if God's dealing with you, respond to God. You can walk out of here with a clear conscience this morning, knowing that you can face the judgment of God. Prepared. Prepared. If I wouldn't walk out of here with one question mark this morning. My God. If I have a question mark over my experience, I would not leave this morning. My God. For your life will soon be gone. My Lord. Shall we sing? Amen. Will you come? Will you come? Why so cautious? Why are you standing? this morning? Are there question marks? Are there clouds over your experience? You haven't seen your way clear? Why don't you come and get it right this morning? Is it worth going to hell over whatever you're holding on this morning? Is it worth going to hell over this morning? Is your little notion, your little idea, your little justification, is it worth going to hell over? Are you ready to face the judgment? If you're going to stand face to face before God right now, how would it be? Sing that chorus one more time. God's dealing this morning. Airless soul. Airless soul. Need no warning. for the word this morning. <laughs>